selling boats faster. This is Dirk Danson with Waterline Boats in Boat Shed, Seattle. Today we're looking at a 1969 Willard 36 foot aft pilot house trawler. This is a uh, full displacement canoe stern long distance cruiser. It uh, provides extremely good accommodations in a 36 foot hull and very seaworthy. Uh, stability is augmented by full NIAD hydraulic vane stabilizers. It has an economical Perkins four-cylinder diesel. It's a 4236. This boat can cruise at six and a half knots at nine-tenths of a gallon per hour. And it really is capable of long-distance cruising. Uh, Robert Beebe in his famous book, uh, Voyaging Under Power, actually specifically mentioned the Willard 36 pilot house. I think it was page 71 as an exemplary long distance cruiser. This particular boat cruised in 1987 from San Diego to Hawaii and returned. Burned 330 gallons of fuel on the way out to Hawaii, which I believe took 18 days. He was doing uh, 6.5 uh, five knots roughly and averaging 0 0.9 gallons per hour. The main stateroom here is uh, actually the master stateroom. It's a center cabin. It's a very large cabin. You've got a large double berth on each side as well as uh, on the aft to starboard there's a desk uh, and bookcase. Bookcases elsewhere on both sides of the boat. You've got the diesel heating stove against the forward bulkhead. Forward you've got a uh, bow compartment here with two bunks and uh, in between in this corridor you have the head uh, to starboard and you have a full-size shower stall to port separate from the head. Two berths forward are both on the uh, port side and are um, one above the other. On the starboard side you've got a hanging locker Anchor locker forward. There is also access to this compartment by a stairway and a uh, four deck doghouse with a vertical hatch on it so that the uh, crew up forward can access the four deck of the boat directly without going through the cabin and they can enter the bow cabin from the foredeck. Very handy. Going back now through the passageway, we'll look at the head which is on the starboard side. Good room in the head. It's got a uh, manual pump uh, toilet. Some room for storage there. Remember that this boat is actually in service right at the moment and underway. It's not uh, cleaned up for display. So we've got a lot of gear spread around. This is the shower stall. It's a full-size shower stall. Very handy. Uh, completely separate from the head so you're not uh, worrying about uh, spraying water all over your personal effects there. This is the desk which is in the aft part of the master stateroom. Then we're going to go back up the stairway into the main salon area which is uh, it's our dining and galley area which is actually the aft cabin of the vessel behind the pilot house. It's up at full deck level. You've got great visibility all around. And then we're up into the pilot house now. Again this boat is underway. Good navigation. One of the instruments uh, there, uh, center forward of us, is the uh, forward looking sonar, which is very interesting and allows you to see logs and things floating towards you, as well as uh, rocks and reefs uh, just under the surface. Good visibility from the pilot house, 360 degrees. You have these. Uh, really large four windows including the wraparound curved windows on each side the forward corners of the pilot house. There's also uh, large windows aft and then on here the starboard side we have a door which goes out uh, for access to the side deck there and to the fore deck. You'll note that the mast which can carry a foresail and a mainsail is currently stored in a uh, reclining position for lower bridge clearance. It's on a tabernacle so it's quite easy to set up right. It's an aluminum mast. You got two anchors stored in the bow rollers. There's dual bow rollers, one above the other. So you can easily uh, drop uh, either one or both of those anchors. And there's a third anchor stored on the deck behind.
We also have a Walker Bay 8-foot uh, sailing rib dinghy here. If you seriously are looking for a boat that is capable of really long distance traveling in good comfort and great economy, this Willard Pilot House is probably the one you ought to be looking at. You can just imagine yourself topping up the tanks on this thing and heading for Mexico, Hawaii, the South Pacific Islands, Alaska, virtually any destination you might have in mind, this boat's capable of going there. And going there far more economically and probably in better comfort than most other yachts you could think of. This is a practical boat. You can afford this boat, and yet you can cruise anywhere you might dream of cruising. Just visualize opening up the throttles and heading southwest offshore with Hawaii as your next destination or Cabo San Lucas or Kenai Peninsula. You can see the details on this boat on our listing on waterlineboats.com, boatshedseattle.com. Again, this is Dirk Nansen with a 1969 Willard 36-foot aft pilot house cruiser.